wrong with you? You gotta go. You brought this on your fucking what self, you crazy, doing? psychotic ass bitch. Now I want you out of my fucking face, out of my truck, and out of my fucking life! Pinky OTR Diva back in the building. What's going on? <laughs> all right, all right. So, so of course we know about the viral video that's going around on all the platforms, and uh, you know we're right. still. I'm, I'm still trying to reach out to the uh, to the young lady that was in the video, but we we get in a little bit more uh, info about the situation so there might be some you know some skirmishes within the initial video because the initial video was only a minute i found the full video okay. hold on <gasps> Out the full video and from the full video we get to see a little bit more of what was happening um okay <coughs> it may not be a trainee trainee a trainee trainer trainee type of situation I'm not sure, but again, I'm not speculating. But you mentioned that you just recently had to kick a trainee off the truck. And usually you don't yeah. train usually you don't do women. You 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 do, you know, you train no. mostly men. So Pinky, what happened? Well, it was a lot of things that, that led, led to her getting off the truck. Um, down the truck, the girl um, complained that, you know, she's like, because uh, she had drove a couple of days. She had been on my truck for a whole week. Hold, 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 hold on. It sounded like it sound like you underwater. So you you on your you on your headset? You driving? What you doing right now? Uh, <clears throat> well, I've lost my voice, so... <laughs> 
Uh, I'm driving, but I got my Bluetooth, my earbuds in my ear. Can you hear me now? Oh, uh, no wonder. You got, what What, what you got, the, the AirPods? Yeah. Yeah, those, oh, God, that's so awful. All right, go ahead. We'll we'll, we'll try to we'll, we'll try to muster through. All right, so you was uh, so the driver or the trainee haven't been on your truck long. How how long has 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 he? It was a he, right? She. Ooh, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pinky, didn't you say that you don't want to mess with men, women? Didn't you actually? Weren't you the one that said that two queens on the truck is a problem? What made you change your mind about this? Yep. One? Well, just to help out the company because we had too many females sitting on the yard. So I said, hey, I'll take one. I'll go ahead and take one just to help out. Okay. Okay. What, what, what happened? Well, before she hit two weeks on my truck, um, was it two weeks? No, she did seven days. So uh, she did a week on my truck. So before her end of her, her first week, she asked about when do she get a day off? Already. Okay. Already, yes. A day off or four. When do she get that? See, here's the problem with a lot of these trainees that come into this industry. They think that this is a corporate job and it's not. They they too naive to the fact that they think it's a vacation. Yeah, but they they too naive to too naive to the fact that they think they're gonna get on there, they're gonna get their days off when they need it, they're gonna be able to do whatever they wanna do, and it's it's not the case. I mean, I'm sure, didn't somebody tell her that she was going to be out with you for at least two weeks? And I even told her, I think you're going to be out here three weeks. Three weeks with me. And normally it's like two and a half weeks. But, yeah. She wanted a day off. She was like, she had stuff. She was like, how am I supposed to conduct my business that I need to conduct? And I said, well... When you got a 30 minute break, take care of what you gotta take care of. If you have a 10 hour break, take care of what you gotta take care of. Or anytime you are not driving, take care of what you gotta take care of. Wow. So she feels that I guess her home situation was was probably still tumultuous, that she still needed to needed to take some time off the to go home. Did did she did she or did she not know that before she came in before she came into the industry? I mean, she had to I know. She know had to know. She, she had to know that, right? I mean, she got her CDL. Did she get her CDL through Stevens? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So she must have been under the impression. That after she got her CDL, she was able to go back home and 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 take care and take care of some home business. If that was the case, why she didn't? No, just... Oh, go ahead. No, she actually wanted to not take care of her business. She wanted to take care of what she had to take care of. And I was like, that's how I work. You're here to get hours. So you gotta drive. So she didn't want she wanted to take a day off from from driving. So in other words, she wanted to take another another what? Another 10? If that's the, another 10 or something? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. what's the deal? She just wanted to basically either take a whole day off or 34 so she could take care of what she needed to take care of with calling whoever, business and stuff. Because she was like, by the time we take a 10 hour break, business are closed. And she was like, I know you get tired and everything like that and driving and stuff, but how do you take care of your stuff? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she questioning you on this? 
Yes. Uh, oh, okay, wait, wait, stop. Hold, hold on. What? <laughs> you trainee, me trainer. You don't question me. I take care of my right. business when I need to take care of it. You don't worry about that. You take care of your business when you need to take care of it. Now, here's the better way you should have came to me. You should have came to me like this. Like, look, um, Miss Pinky, um, I know I drive I, I know I drive nights, but I got, you know, I got a few things that needs to be taken care of. So is it all right that you know, I, I'll take first shift or <clears throat> I'll, t I'll, you know, switch it up, take the first shift or the night shift so that I will be able to take care of my business, uh, you know, doing business hours. That's how she should have came to you. But it sounds, right. it sounds like she coming at you with hostility. Yeah. Wow. So, of course, this is not going over well with you. <laughs> um, how how long how how long was it before you pulled the trigger? Um, it, it stuff started leading up. Um, you know, with fuel prices being high, I had to put up fuel up underneath my truck because I paid for my fuel because I'm a contractor. So I paid for my fuel. I got fuel all on my truck. A plug of fill up underneath my truck. So, like, what happened? Like, my hand slipped out my hand. Okay. <laughs> I let it go. But then, well, as I'm trying to teach her stuff, she's not learning her hours of service. She's not. I'm like, you need to get familiarized with the tablet so you know exactly where everything is at. So you can do your job. So you know how to do your job. And she just kept, like, Disregarding what I'm trying to tell her to do. So, with all that said, uh, Pinky, when did you pull the trigger on her, and how and how was the trigger pulled? Um, I told her um, on a Sunday. Was it a Sunday? Yeah, I believe it was. A, yeah, it was a Sunday. I said. Um, Today or tomorrow is your last day on my truck. She sat there for a few minutes and said, I'm not driving. And I said, well, I'll call Stephen then. You get on my truck today. Uh, oh, okay. So you tell the young lady, like, look, um, this ain't going to work out. Uh, today's your last day on the truck. Or I'm, I'm about to, you know, we about to head back to the terminal. And then it will be your last time on the truck. So when you tell her that, she come back at you with the, oh, I'm not driving deal. I mean, I would have yeah. I, I would have came back at her like, oh, okay, ain't no problem. I, you know, I drive. I, I, no problem. I'll wait till my wait till my ten is up, and beeline your ass straight to the terminal. Simple as that. I mean, that's what I would have told her. But you you pretty much told her like. Oh, we need to get you off your truck today. So, I mean, did you? Yeah. I mean, did you? So, uh, I mean, how how did you how how did you dislodge her? I mean, truck stop, terminal. Get off my truck. Yeah, and truck stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know that didn't go well. Uh, yeah, y'all truck stop. Where, okay, so where were y'all in conjunction to the terminal versus where y'all was? Where y'all was at? Where y'all was at when you told her to get out the truck? Terminals in Dallas. She got off my truck in Florence, South Carolina. God damn it, man. I mean, you, Pinky, for you to, for you of all people to, to actually like dislodge a person from your truck, they really, Pinky, they really had to fuck with your nerves. 
peace was all gone. I ain't had no peace, nothing. No peace, no patience, no more. Ooh, woo! So again, I don't think that went over well with her, but you pretty much told her to. Yo, no, go ahead. No, it didn't go well over there. Where um, when I told him she had to get off, I called Stacy, did what I was supposed to do, told him she had to get off the truck. Um, they gave her money for a hotel and for uh, for a taxi. Um, then when it came to getting her stuff, you know, I gave her EFS check, wrote, was really nice, wrote the EFS check out for her, told her where she had to go cash it. As she was leaving out the truck, I said, no, you got to take your stuff with you too. And then that's when things really got bad because she was like, how am I supposed to get myself? How am I supposed to take this in there? I don't know. You got to take your stuff with you. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you getting off the truck. I'm, I'm not being responsible for your shit no more. That's why I keep telling. That, that's why I keep saying, in every video that I talk about this type of situation, that's why you don't bring everything in the kitchen sink. I keep telling people that. Yeah. You know, y'all. I mean, they, they, you know, they all in the Facebook group over here talking about is this enough stuff to bring? Like, no. That's too much. Yeah. All you need is a go bag, yeah. a book bag, and your essentials bag. That's it. Three three bags. Yeah. Pretty much. Your book bag, which yeah. you can your backpack, yeah. which you can put on your back. One of them little one of them little uh one of them little duffel bags that you can roll. And your your little essentials kit. You know, soap, rag. You know, deodorant, you know, pussy smell good, that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what you, that's all y'all need. Yeah. That's all y'all need. Y'all don't need y'all y'all don't need all that stuff because <laughs> y'all y'all don't need all that stuff because y'all number one, y'all already going on somebody else's truck that probably might not have no room, and number two. All your stuff is going to be on that top bunk. That's it. All your yep. shit is going to be on that top bunk. Everything that you come on that truck is going to be on that top bunk. All right? That's yeah. and, and that's why I keep telling people not to be bringing all that shit. So she got all her stuff or, you know, she got all her stuff complaining about how she going to maneuver with all her stuff and you like hey it's your responsibility that's another and like i said before that's where the naiveness come in because trainees really think that you know you guys in the company is responsible for them and they're not and she tried to proceed out my truck I told her um, if she leaves out my trunk without her thing, her stuff would be in the parking lot. I mean, ain't ain't did nothing me? ain't nothing too much you can do about that, but to you know kindly package her her stuff nice and neat up against the grass or whatever because. Like you said, it's 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 time for you to go. I mean, you're not going to get along with each other, and you're not going to you you know. <clears throat> it's better to just, and I, I I hate to say this for a trainer and trainee, but on a for real though, if y'all two, if a trainer and trainee really can't get along with each other, yeah, it's it's best for that trainee to lead uh, to get off the truck because now there's animosity in the air and ain't no telling what that trainee would do to you in the truck you know especially while you right. sleep you're gonna have to start sleeping with one eye open now and that's that, that's gonna be uncomfortable like look man i'm uh, -uh you're gonna have to get right. up no you're gonna have to go i'm not comfortable with you on my truck i'm not comfortable driving you i'm not comfortable you i'm not comfortable with i'm just scared I mean, I'm not scared. You know, I'm a grown ass woman, grown ass man. But I'm just saying, I'm just scared for the fact that somebody gonna gonna get hurt. 
And I don't believe it's going to be me. So, yeah, it's, it, it, you, you did a good thing by, you know, Edson and her out of the truck. All right, so you was nice can enough. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. So you was nice enough to write her EFS check, which, again, you know, trainees, when y'all come out, y'all really need to make sure that y'all have funds in excess of maybe 500 to like 300 to 500 and that credit card so that y'all in case of situations like Pinky and like the young lady that was on the video, you, you guys will be all right. Y'all be able to, y'all be able to move maneuver a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So again, like I said, man, this this young lady must have got really, really up under your skin for you to dislodge her right there on the spot. Pinky, this this is the first time I ever heard of that from you because you was the most nicest uh, attentive trainer that I have known. And you got success. You got successes up under your bill. This Wow. Well, with the exception of the other chick that you had a problem with, but it wasn't that extreme. But uh, but this one right yeah. here. But <laughs> so with this one right here to make it work, to make it work with this one, she said her husband is a driver. Oh wow! For Stevens? No, he don't drive for Stevens. Oh, okay. Then I think. Why she- I know of him? Then she sh- she probably should have went with him to get her training and everything in. That's crazy. All right, so yeah. Then she asked me. Then she asked me to move my truck. She said, um, "Can you move it to the field house so I can get my stuff off the truck?" No. And I said, "No. Uh-huh. When I move my truck, I'm leaving. Exactly. I'm not moving my truck to the field house. I'm leaving. And you're not moving your truck to to to." Her peace of mind. This no, your peace of mind is to get you off the truck right then and there. So, Pinky man, n- now the first one, which was not as bad, but this one right here, which left a whole hell of of a bad experience. Would you ever take another female on the train? Nope. So this this nope. is this is a done deal right here. Done deal. I told the company, I said I try to help y'all out, but I am sticking to no females on my truck no more. Mm. If they, you know, because I had another trainer ask me, could they could I train one of their friends? I said, Nope. I'm not training. I don't care how good you say they are, I'm they're not getting on my truck. I can't do it. Mm. So this female really, really put the ats in the coffin. As far as you training females yeah. going forward. Yeah, and then she had there to tell me that, you know, um, she's like, well, I, you know, that's why Steven's talking about you. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. How Steven's talking about I'm you? Out you you one of their you you one of their best I, I don't believe Stevens is talking about you because you you one of their best drivers. You get lots of accolades from Stevens. And you still there. With Stevens, I'm sure if there was a problem with Stevens, you would have been left. Yeah, they, she was saying it was the females, the female students. And I was like, I don't care. And she was like, well, I don't care either. I said, well, you bring it up to my attention for? I don't care. Y'all said that y'all need y'all, y'all need y'all 240 hours. I've been there, done that. I'm four years in. Y'all need me to train y'all. Not me. Not y'all train me. I need, I need to train y'all. Jeez. Man. Pinky OTR Diva. Man, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your woo, evil experience with a badass uh, uh, trainee. It's just unfortunate that this one right here pretty much like I said, put the ats in the coffin as far as you going forward with training any other females uh, that'll come through uh, for Stevens. Yeah. And I have a lot of females that request me to train them, but I don't take them. I will find them. I will find them trainers, 
I have a, you know, a group of females that train. So I'd be like, hey, this person looking for a trainer, you know, and I set them up or, if, you know, if they, if they don't have a suit, I'll set them up with them. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, you I know. Mean, come, I, you know. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you know, for the females that are coming out here, they got to realize you're, you're going into somebody else's home and they're here to train you. You know, I don't belittle nobody. I don't cuss nobody out. I don't yell at you. I'm laid back. I do. I teach you what you need to know to be successful out here. To know your job, be safe and everything like that. But if you're not here for that, then my truck, it's not the truck for you. You said don't bring no kind of smoke. This brain, this brain, the knowledge that you want to learn from me, and we can go forward on that one. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys, you know this is the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you, Pinky, for coming on and sharing your experience with the lockout men as always you have been a super duper awesome friend of the show we always have great conversations with each other man thank you very much ma'am and uh, much success to you hopefully uh well we know it ain't gonna be no more women so hopefully the next guy that comes on the truck will come there and 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 try to be the sponge that he needs to be in order to soak up all this information, valuable information from you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. When you uh, when you get it together. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart could bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.